Hi, this is Utist and I'm going to take you to a journey where one of the top alliance among all the alliances out there, if not the top alliance of that time, JWM, fighting the Ark of Osiris battle. With that, I'm also going to share all the tips to be successful in Ark of Osiris, even with small alliance. Not only I have been playing the Ark of Osiris since its arrival, but also I have managed the Ark of Osiris best way possible with my alliance. So let's start. And also I'm thankful to JWM for the invitation. Most important phase of Ark of Osiris doesn't take place during the fight years. It is the registration phase which is most important, especially for not so big alliance and if it's JWM that's not a big deal for them because they have hardly similar power opponent for them and they have high in active members as well. First off, you should make sure that each and everyone you are registering should be able to take part. Other way it's a double way loss. First, because of his power that adds up to your total power and which will lead to a matchmaking with higher power opponent. And then he is absent and can't help Stand at the strong, match. Governments. That's double way loss. That's the very over. first thing you should deal with. Second tip might surprise you, but it's a fact that for small to medium sized alliances, it is better to register small number of players rather than registering for whole 30 slots. That's because it does two very important things for you. It prevents getting high power members in your opponent. I'll explain that later. And secondly, you might end up getting average low power members as opponent. Let's say you have 15 members registered and their average power is 10 million each. That makes 150 million total. Now system will try to find similar power opponent whose overall power is 150 million but let's say they have registered all 30 members so their average power is only 5 million even though they are high in numbers but their average power is way less than your team and you know in this game higher power is way more powerful. Here you can say that developers have changed a bit the system and tried to give attack rating more weightage over power rating but things doesn't differ much and let me tell you this was the tactic I developed just after the first arc matchup when it was arrived. As you can see here they both have sent their high march speed troops to capture the structure especially obelisk should be the first priority because after capturing obelisk it's possible to teleport near so having high march speed d1 cavalry unit with just one troop in it helps now before you enter arc you should divide your team into two units if not three i would like just two teams because arc comes later and then you never know which opponent side is stronger so actually you can engage one of the team letter with one high power captain in each team so that each of the captain not only take decision of their side but also rally on enemy structure and you should already tell your members to follow and join their own side rallies only. If your troops are outside of any structure you won't be able to teleport to the obelisk so should plan accordingly while sending troops outside and when the priority is to get as much structures as early as possible. Whenever you have time and free slots you can send farmers out there to farm resources and if you can get back with resources without being killed in the field you score for yourself and for the team as well. This is a good trick to generate scores unless you are heavyweight member who can generate score through the kills. Here the city is successful to capture more structure initially but that's early. Can they hold it? Also in the right side they are trying to capture the JWM's obelisk 
but that's going to be tough. In general, if you can catch the opponent's always early, then they won't be able to teleport there. But your team will be teleport there. So that's an advantage. JW pushed SKD back and successfully secured the obelisk here. SKD is here reinforcing and trying to defend the desert altar. And all the JWM members are waiting to arrive their rally. So SKD is back at defense mode, trying to defend the structures here. And they are trying to occupy the SKT obelisk now. So this is the battle report which clearly swing JW rallied with full skilled Sao Sao and Minamoto but since Obelisk was garrisoned by infantry, cavalry was not the best choice even though the rally got swarmed and uh, less amount of troops in it because infantry has advantage for cavalry unit. Few rallies are going from the both sides. Again here maybe they didn't have better option here, otherwise again cavalry unit is not the best for infantry since infantry counter cavalry but anyways so much fighting is going on and everything is not available everywhere. So here goes the arc and seems to be without competition and about arc the main thing to remember is that the carrier of arc gets huge debuff. So basically rather than using the best unit to carry it, the best unit should actually guard it. Even Our if they get the arc, the enemy has altar. to carry it. And fun fact is that the now the enemy has those altar. huge debuffs and less much speed so easier to kill. This rally is uh, going strong. Infantry unit with Richard is uh, very tanky and if you have then it's best to use archer unit lead by YC since archer unit has advantage over infantry and YC is best new car out there. JW definitely kept reinforcing so here SKD should have kept reinforcing as well. SKD actually is still trying to push at that JWM obelisk. They have rather focused on balancing left side and defending their structure because opponent is uh, this strong. It's really difficult to capture enemy obelisk. Yes, indeed, some open field fight here. Open field fight is something you should be clear about. If opponent is weak and you can beat opponent, then go for it. If not, then rather focus on reinforcing structures or join rallies because there your troops will be fighting under better captain unless you are their captain. I mean under someone else commanders which definitely better than yours. Now it's JWM's term to go for a study of list. Seems to have here low amount to rally. Our forces have Here JW is trying to get hard and there one nice trick. If everybody is in reinforced to the structure, it will be tough to win the obelisk. Then if you hit the cities where there are not much troops left because they reinforced the structure, you can teleport them back. And that is fun thing about Ark. First of all, you get similar power opponent to fight with, to do battle with then you can ward freely without worrying about heal about heal about getting killed your own troops that those highly painful things doesn't happen here rock wars should be like that then the war will be fun to do so at this point jw got the game in their hand they scored way more and skd just gone defensive mode at this point everyone would try to score at as much as possible before I signing off let me tell you that I have lots of interesting topics lately so don't forget to check out them and subscribe like enjoy the rest of the highlights our forces have lost control of an outpost of set
Seth's forces have captured an out. Our forces have captured the Ark. Shrine of War! 